welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. I thought it would be fun to do a little night in my life since I haven't shared one of those since I started my teaching job. So I just thought it would be fun to kind of take you guys through a night in my life. Usually these aren't that eventful and I really don't do that much because honestly I come home and I'm just like so tired and I kind of do the same thing every night. So this is probably the only like night in my life that you will see while I am teaching, but I still thought it would be fun to show you guys. So I just got out of school. I left school on time. That has been a big thing for me and something that I've really made important is as a teacher I feel like it's really easy to work past contract hours work before contract hours and I have just really like set the boundary for myself that I am not going to do that I cannot it is better for my mental health and my kids to work my contract hours and that's what I'm doing and I worked a lot before and after contract hours when I first started but I'm at a place where now I can come when I'm supposed to come leave when I'm supposed to leave and then occasionally stay late of course but for the most part I leave when the school day is over now which has just been really really good for my mental health and just for myself in general I feel so much better now that I leave at the end of the school day so for all my teachers out there set that boundary for yourself even if it's only a couple nights a week setting that boundary where you leave at the end of the day when you're supposed to leave is just so good and it feels so so good anyway i went straight from school i'm currently at aldi i'm gonna run in do our grocery shopping we have not been grocery shopping in a really long time so i have a lot of groceries that we need to pick up <gasps> i missed you why i missed you so much all day yes i did I know, I know, I know I missed you, I did, let's go inside, come on. I just got all the groceries unloaded and I thought I would just do a little bit of a grocery haul. This is not everything that I got, this is just my stuff. We got like some other general housekeeping things and I picked up some things for Eddie, but this is kind of what I have. If you guys don't know, if you are new here, I'm getting married in like 50 days, so we are on full on wedding bod mode trying to get in really really good shape and just eat really really good to feel my best for my wedding day so this is kind of some of the things that i got to eat healthy i did get a lot but a lot of these are just basic staple things and also i won't go grocery shopping for like two weeks now so i like to stock up and then go less often to the grocery store that's just what i prefer what works best for me so i wanted to show you guys what all i picked up i got some more coffee of course i love their french vanilla coffee i got some granny smith apples i love these apples i've just been craving them recently because i think they just like satisfy my sweet tooth and i really like dipping them in this protein Greek yogurt I'll add like a teaspoon or tablespoon I mean of peanut butter to this mix it up really good and then I'll use it as like a yogurt dip for my apples and it is so good and it seriously tastes like dessert to me but it's really good for you I got a bunch of these chopped salad kits I think I got three of them these are just nice for my lunches super quick and easy they are a little bit high in calories because of the dressing but if you just don't use it all then it's a little bit better for you and honestly you don't need the whole packet or at least i don't really need the whole packet of dressing i got a bag of spinach to freeze because i realized we didn't have any of this this is just really nice to throw in smoothies and stuff i got some liquid egg whites i just love having these i think it is such a good healthy breakfast i'll do half a cup of this i think it is and then i'll do like like a whole mini avocado and that'll be my breakfast and it is so good and so filling i just love having that for breakfast i also picked up some lightly salted rice cakes i'm planning on doing that with this chicken breast i picked up a couple of these canned chicken breasts i know these aren't the healthiest compared to like actually cooking you know regular chicken but just for something quick and easy to have for lunch i'll do like this with some Frank's hot sauce and like a little bit of low fat ranch and make like a buffalo chicken dip and then I'll use this to dip into these and it's pretty low calorie. It's really, really filling, really yummy. I also got some of this dip. This is spinach artichoke tzatziki dip. I'll just dip some veggies in this. I think this is a really good dip. This is like my favorite dip ever from Aldi. If you've not tried it, you need to. It is so good. So I can dip like my carrots in it, my cucumber, tomatoes, any of that stuff I can dip in this. I probably shouldn't have gotten to the store hungry because some of the stuff I picked up literally just because I was hungry. So I picked up this black soybean spaghetti. It just looked really good and a healthier version of spaghetti. So I picked that up. 
like I said, some carrots. I got cucumbers, tomatoes, and then I also picked up this box of quinoa, which I'm probably gonna meal prep. Maybe not tonight, maybe next week I'll meal prep this, but I'm planning on making like a healthy lunch with the cucumbers, tomatoes, and quinoa. We'll see how that goes. I picked up some of these. I finally found like good, healthy protein shakes from Aldi, which they haven't had normally. Their protein shakes have a lot of sugar, but these are basically like the equivalent of a premier protein shake, which I love. Love. I love, 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 love having these for breakfast. I'm never hungry in the morning, so this is the perfect thing to get me through the morning until lunch without, I don't know, just like taking the time to make something in the morning. It's just quick, it's simple, it's easy, and it is really, really filling, and I just, I really enjoy having these for breakfast. So I picked up two of these, so I have one every single morning during the school week. I don't do these on the weekends, just when I'm at school. So they have 30 grams of protein and only one gram of sugar, which is super good. And then I just picked up some snacky food. So I picked up some strawberries to snack on, some of these protein bars, just if I'm in a rush and just need something kind of quick to like throw in my bag and snack on, I can have one of these. These are also really good or like a healthier dessert if I'm like really craving something sweet. And the last thing I got are these, which I talked about in my favorites video. They're just coconut cashews, super yummy. Definitely satisfies your sweet tooth. And I also got some creamy almond butter. I like to put this in my smoothies for a little bit of protein. That is everything that I got from the grocery store. I'm gonna go ahead and put all of this stuff away. As you guys can see, I got a lot more stuff. Tons and tons of broccoli, because that's like all Eddie eats, because Eddie's also in wedding bod mode. I'm gonna turn on a podcast. I love Wild Till Nine. I think their podcast is like my favorite of all time. So I'm gonna turn on their podcast listen to this and unload all the groceries clean out our old stuff put our new stuff in kind of get all that stuff situated and then i'm probably gonna eat dinner honestly because i'm very hungry would you stay till the morning light or would you follow me or would you let it be if i leave tonight we could do this right we'll find the remedy or would you stay with me now Till the morning light Before you turn away I just want you to know That I didn't throw your stuff away Before you make up your mind That I'm nowhere to find I'm standing right here I know that I told you we're over I swear that I'm sober Just listen, I miss you And I know Just picked up some fresh flowers from the store. I had flowers in here from our school's PTA, but they were dead. So I saw these really pretty white roses at the store and I picked them up. I think they look so cute here. I love having them like fresh flowers on my coffee table. Anyway, I just made myself some dinner. I just made one of these salad kits from Aldi. So I just threw it all into a bowl. This is a bowl from Target. I love this bowl so much for these salads. So I made this and then I just put one of those sparkling ice drinks. I have the lemonade one. I put that in here with some ice to drink with my dinner. And I'm probably going to turn on some YouTube. I honestly just need to chill when I come home from work. Eddie's always like, why don't you just get your stuff done and then like be done and relax early. But I just don't work that way. I have to like come home, chill for a little bit, relax, and then kind of like get the rest of my stuff done. And I still get into bed really early really, really early. But that's just kind of how I function, especially being with kids all day. I just come home and I just need to breathe and like be at peace with my thoughts because it is just nonstop all day, which I love. I absolutely love it. It makes the day go by so fast and I love being there, but like, I just need a break, you know? I also already have my pre-workout. Let me show you guys my pre-workout really quick. I have found that I can actually be productive if I have a pre-workout like midway through the day, I think I honestly just like wasn't, I don't know, having enough caffeine because I seriously would come home every day after school and be so exhausted. But ever since I started having like a midday pick me up, like a Diet Coke or a coffee or my pre-workout, I found that I am just like so much more productive and so much happier having that little extra burst of energy so that when I'm done 
with my school day, I like can still get stuff done and still be productive. So that's something that I've, I've just been loving so much, but this is the new pre-workout that I got. It's the Alani new Hawaiian shaped ice. Everybody and their mother talks about this, but it is so good. I do not like pre-workout. I've tried like the Cellucor C4 or whatever, like all those different flavors. It's what I used to use when I used to work out. And I just don't like them, like not a big fan. This tastes so good. I will drink this like, I don't know, around three o'clock so that I can still sleep. So I'll drink my pre-workout and then I don't work out until later usually, but it's just like a nice kick of energy to get me through the rest of the day. And it tastes really, really good. I have it at like three o'clock at my school and it's honestly just so yummy and really gives me that little bit of motivation to get things done at the end of the day, which I just, I've been loving so much. I feel so much better and more productive. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> I'm going to eat my dinner, watch a couple YouTube videos, decompress a little bit and kind of hang out and then I will get a workout. I'm getting ready to go do my workout, but I wanted to show you guys my jewelry pieces before I take them all off to go do my workout. And wanted to say thank you so much to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. I absolutely love Ana Luisa's jewelry and they're actually the only like brand of jewelry that I wear except for my engagement ring. I love their pieces so much. They're actually having a Mother's Day sale starting when this video goes up, you can get 15% off of your purchase. And this goes until May 5th. If you guys want to check it out. I love their jewelry so much for myself personally, but it would also make the perfect gift, especially for Mother's Day coming up. It would be the perfect jewelry gift to give to your mom or your loved one on Mother's Day. Jewelry is just like my favorite gift to get and receive because it's something that I wear every single day and I just love having that like constant reminder of the person that gave it to me. So giving your mom a piece of jewelry would be so nice because then she can always be thinking about you and it's a good way to say thank you and love you and all those important things that Mother's Day is all about. I wanted to show you guys some of the pieces that I recently got from Ana Luisa. So I will start with these rings. Don't mind my nails, they are not done. But these rings are actually both from Ana Luisa. This is my newest one. This is one that I already had and I love wearing them together. This one right here is just a really thin, dainty gold band. I love how dainty it is. The other piece that I have from them is this necklace. It is just a layered necklace. I love the beaded detailing on this first one right here, and then the longer one is just a little gold disc, which I think is really pretty, and I just love how it looks layered. It's just a really nice gold, super good quality. And I love how it looks. I just think it looks so pretty. It's simple, dainty, stylish, and it's just like a great everyday piece to wear. That's like my favorite thing about Ana Luisa jewelry is it's just great everyday pieces. This is stuff that I wear every single day. I don't usually take it off. I always have it on, especially my necklace. I always, always, always have that on. And the last piece that I got from Ana Luisa is this necklace. They have the most beautiful necklaces and rings and bracelets and all sorts of beautiful jewelry pieces that you could get for your mom for Mother's Day. I know that they will absolutely love it. So this is another gold chain that I got. It just looks a really cute style. You can layer it with something like this. You can layer it with literally any necklace that you have. I also just love how sustainable Ana Luisa is. They make very limited batches of their jewelry so they don't have a ton of extra product that isn't being sold. And the quality of the jewelry is just amazing. It is so amazing quality. Like I said, I wear my necklace every day and it still stays true gold. And all of their pieces are at a really affordable price. So they have jewelry starting at $39, which is great for everyday jewelry. And then they also have some higher end pieces as well. Make sure to click on that link down below in my description box. That link will get you 15% off their product starting now until May 5th. We love a good deal, so make sure to check out that link in my description box below. Get yourself some cute jewelry or get something for your mom for Mother's Day. Now, what I need to do is go and work out, which I'm just like really, I'm kind of putting it off to be honest. I have been really enjoying working out. I've been going for runs or like walks and I've been really enjoying that and liking it, but honestly, it's just really hot out today and I'm just like not feeling it and my shins hurt so bad from running the past couple of days. So I think what I'm going to do is just do like a Chloe Ting workout video, throwback to quarantine when her videos were like super popular.
workout is done. I'm all showered off. I just washed my face. Feels all nice and good and clean. I'm probably gonna do a face mask in a little bit, so I haven't done like my skincare or anything, but it's like eight o'clock now. Honestly, at this point, I'm usually like starting to wind down for the night. I seriously go to bed so early. I'm usually like in bed by nine o'clock, so it's almost my bedtime, but I just made myself some banana and ice cream. It is just two frozen bananas and a little bit of almond milk. I put some vanilla extract and then just like a tiny bit of chocolate syrup on top just so that it, I don't know, would taste a little bit sweeter. It's a little bit melty, but honestly it is pretty good. I will say with myself, I am kind of like counting my calories or tracking what I'm eating for the wedding. After the wedding, probably won't do it, but leading up to the wedding, I am using my fitness pal and kind of like tracking all that stuff. So I had a little bit more left. So I just made this and I'm just gonna hang out. I'm gonna wait for, are you okay? <laughs> I'm in my cozies, my PJs. I'm gonna cozy up on the couch with my blanket and my banana ice cream. And I'm gonna wait for Eddie to get home. He's at the gym right now. So he'll probably be home hopefully pretty soon. And then we'll probably hang out for a minute, and catch up on the day. And I'll probably like maybe do a face mask or something. I, I think I might do that. But for now, we're just gonna hang out, watch some more YouTube, catch up on some videos. Face mask is on. This is the one that I've been using i really need a new camera this autofocus is awful it's from the ordinary it's their aha bha peeling solution i've been trying to use this once or twice a week i think you're allowed to use this twice a week so i've been trying to use this at least once but preferably at twice a week leading up to the wedding just to get my skin to look its best and i love the way this makes my skin look and feel i have some other masks that i like also so i've just I've just been really trying to focus on skincare and getting my skin to look like I said, the best that I can. I am going to get a facial, I think the beginning of May. So like in a month, I'm gonna go get a facial. That way my face like is healed and looks good for wedding day, which I'm really excited about because I've had facials before, but it's more like a massage facial, I feel like. And this is like a facial facial to like do extraction. It is the dermaplaning facial so it gets like all the peach fuzz off i'm so excited about it this will sit on for 10 minutes and then i will just go ahead and use my first a beauty ultra repair cream this is like my favorite night cream face moisturizer it's just like really really thick and moisturizing for nighttime so i'll use this and then i will use my hereology formula which i absolutely love and then last thing i followed up with is this this is the Maderma quick drying oil. I just put this on my scar for my surgery, which you can honestly hardly see. It's right here. You can hardly see anymore, which means that it's been working. So that's good. Sometimes I forget to do this. I don't mean to skip it, but sometimes I end up skipping this step, but I like to try and remember to put on this eye cream at night too. I just love the way that it feels. And I feel like eye cream is like very good for preventative aging things. It is officially bedtime. It is officially 9.15 on the dot, and I am in bed. I need to put on some chapstick before I go to bed. I like cannot go to sleep if I don't have chapstick on. Skincare is all done. My face feels just like so good and glowy and just clear. I feel like my skin has gotten even more clear because I've just been so good about drinking water recently. I've been drinking five of my Yetis a day, which I know is like a lot of water. I think it's 150 ounces, which is over a gallon of water. I drink a lot of water, but I just feel like I feel so good now that I've been drinking more water. Anyway, I'm getting into bed. I know I'm just, I'm like an old little lady and you know what, I'm fine with it honestly. I just don't stay up late at all. I'm gonna get into bed right now, it's 9.15. I will probably scroll my phone, scroll on TikTok, get on Instagram for a little bit, probably watch another video on YouTube. I usually get in bed around nine o'clock and then I usually am probably like asleep by 10 o'clock. And it's honestly just like my favorite part of the night. I've always been like this since I was a little kid going to bed so early, but I love it. It's what makes me happy. And lately I've been getting up in the morning and doing some work and stuff. So it's actually worked out really well, but it is bedtime for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this little night routine. If you did, don't forget to subscribe by clicking down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. I love reading and responding to you guys' comments. It makes me so happy. Let me know what your favorite part of your night routine is because going to bed is my favorite part. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Ooh.